Hey y'all. Uh, it's March the 28th, 2017. And I wanted to make a quick video before I get into stuff and I start doing stuff around here. It's a fence that needs to be built. But I wanted to make a quick video and share it with y'all. Um, basically just reiterating a point that I've already uh, pointed out and not only that many many people have pointed it out already before me but I just wanted to go ahead and repeat it because then we can be reminded of it uh, we can remember this we need to meditate on this I mean when you talk about basic human evolution uh, you're talking about people and they have children and they've been having children uh, for a long, long time. They create different generations. What you have to understand about human behavior is that children are going to model from their parents or the grown-ups that they see around them. All right, this is a form of survival technique. Uh, you have to do what your parents do in order to survive. At the same time, these children grow up and they wind up figuring out that their parents are not perfect. Not by a long shot. And every uh, child figures this out. And so, naturally, the children are going to rebel. They're going to rebel in some certain aspects. Whatever aspects that they deem that uh, the previous generation done screwed up on, where they're going to rebel against that. This is human behavior. This is what's been taking place every single generation since Adam and Eve. Right? A form of rebellion, a rebellious nature. Right? Politically speaking, this is where the terms left and right even come from. It's a pendulum swing. And that children, uh, <clears throat> they're going to rebel a certain kind of way. Once they notice the grown-ups are not perfect around them, once they notice their parents are not perfect, they're going to rebel. Politically speaking, that would go from left to right. What we've been introduced to, Democrat to Republican. This is the... The game which has been set up around us. <clears throat> Alright. So that all being said. Rebellion is just something that's going to happen. Until we live in a perfect world. Rebellion is something that the youth will do. Organically every time. Rebellion. Alright. For as long as the society. Chooses to keep going. Rebellion is going to be a factor. Uh, even and especially politically left to right, right to left. Here's the problem for um, globalist elites out there. Those of us who know that these people actually exist and want to conquer the world more than they've conquered it already and want to continue conquering it. All right, this is something for us to remember, okay? Rebellion just happens, period, all day. All right, so for the longest time, for as long as I can uh, perceive, um, our generation of Americans have been rebelling from the previous, the, the baby boomer generation of Americans. All right? The baby boomer generation of Americans was on the right. All right. What I mean by that is the power structure that was in place was further to the right than to the left. All right? It was more, say, Republican than it was Democrat. All right. So you had the younger generation. They figure out that the baby boomers are not perfect. In fact, they're fucking up. All right, so they rebel. They go off to the left, and that's what they did. Generation X, there was a lot of left-leaning going on there in order to simply make a balance between the power structure that was going too far right. It has to create a balance, so the youth goes to the left a little bit. All right, that's what happened with Generation X. Somehow, as it seems, the millennials 
which would be the, the generation after a, a great long generation X. It was a long period of time. The millennials popped up. Right? And they became so confused by the absolute bullshit propaganda that's being taught in these history classes for number one, but all throughout a school for number two. Right, these millennials got so mixed up. Nine Eleven happened right when they were born and stuff. Like they were little babies, they were small children when Nine Eleven happened. It's all sort of stuff is beyond their grasp, I guess. When you're speaking in generalities, I'm talking about most, but not all. There's certain millennials out there who really are doing the dang thing, and I appreciate them, and I fan them, and I subscribe to them and stuff. <clears throat> there are certain millennials out there. However, they, they got caught up in a weird period of total, uh, absolute confusion, these millennials. Uh, they got up, caught up in all this weird period where they can still briefly remember a George W. Bush. Briefly. So they still have some sort of glimpse of there being a right-leaning power structure in there. These millennials, they barely kind of remember that. And they remember it's a bad thing. They remember everybody talking bad about it, right? This right-leaning power structure, if you want to call it that, of George W., right? But these Generation Z, see, this is where stuff gets very interesting because the generation has done switched real quick. Now there's a generation that's completely apart from millennials, and these people are already born little children right now. What they're referred to now, not by myself, but by a lot of people on the internet, is Generation Z, which is kind of an interesting name when you think about it, because that would imply that would be the last generation, something like that. But Generation Z, all right, is out there now. And what I have to explain for everybody is that Generation Z has never known a right-leaning power structure. They, that was before their time. They've never known. They've only got to know Barack Obama, basically, since they can remember. Who you would obviously construe as one of them left-leaning type Democrat type figures. That's all they've ever known. And these people still realize, these young children still realize that. They're, they're continuing to realize that adults are not perfect. Their parents are not perfect. Something needs to be done. Something clicks over in their head. You know what I'm saying? The rebellion. The, the rebelliousness that has always been. It clicks over in their head. All they've known is a left-leaning power structure. So what do you think they're going to do? What does it look like they're doing? When you're talking about this alt-right culture being all drummed up. And it is. What do you think? They're, they're rebelling. Just like, just like forever. They're rebelling against the left leaning, the whole, they are becoming what you would call more conservative, what you would call more right wing, and they're rebellious, and they just don't give a dang, because if, if any one of them has half of a brain, they're going to realize that the history that they're being taught is absolute crazy nonsense, bull, bull stuff, and you know what, it doesn't even apply to them in their world at all, like, it doesn't apply at all. What they're going to be taught is, you know, Hitler killed all the dang Jews and, and Jews, you know, we need to protect them and shoot. Uh, America enslaved all the black people and the black people are still fighting for uh, justice and stuff. That's what they're going to be taught, but that doesn't even apply to their lives. Most people out here ain't like, you know, I mean, people are Jewish, right, in America and they don't seem to have a problem. When you're speaking in generalities, I know there might be some exceptions, but, you know, people don't have problems with Jews around here at all. It doesn't apply. Generation Z can't calculate it, that in their brain because what you're talking about, your history that you're talking about doesn't even apply to them. It seems like a complete, total separate history. Talking about black people being slaves and stuff like that. Generation Z has no clue what you're even talking about. All right, they do know that there's black people over here and there's white people over there and they see that. But, you know, they've been forced to go more right wing with the rebellion. And so they just don't even care because there's no such thing as racism out here. The perpetration of racism on everybody is dying out. Generation Z doesn't even have time for that. It's so bad that you'll find that Generation Z will go out all on the internet and be typing in comments for whatever because 
for whatever reason, they're on the internet, right? They'll be typing out comments so crazy, like things that you wouldn't dream of saying as a Generation X or back in the day if you were in some sort of chat room. You wouldn't, you wouldn't say that you love Hitler so much. You wouldn't just run around just saying all sort of crazy, crazy things as these little children are saying on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some of them are actually already on YouTube and broadcasting on the internet. Some of these Generation Zers. See, that is the problem. That's the problem that the global elite has made for itself. And I want to let it be known that it is a serious problem. And they know it's a serious problem. Because when you start to understand that there are global elite out there. And they do have a plan. And they it has been taking place intergenerationally. It is a slippery slope that they're trying to create for us. Once you understand that, you understand that, shoot. You, you start to understand that they were, um, they made it so that they're treating us like some sort of babies. They're, they're uh, telling us all sort of crazy, doped up histories and stuff, trying to confuse us. All right. Once you understand that they're there, that's that's happening. It, all your information it gets all scrambled in your brain. You don't even care no more. These generation Z's, what I gotta tell you about them uh, in general is they don't even care anymore. All right, they are gonna rebel against these crazy left wing ideas of uh, murdering babies and chopping up the, the baby body parts, selling them. Uh, all these ideas of you know shoot everybody being divorced and all that they're gonna rebel from that all right and the new world order really can't afford that because the, here the generation Z not only they're gonna rebel and go more right-wing not only that they have access to the internet and they are not afraid to listen to anybody and everybody because here's the thing people being lying to them and they understand that and they're going to continue to understand that people have been lying to so they're gonna go and seek out anybody who might be telling them the truth all right and they're gonna start to understand that and they're gonna get other people's perspectives and they're gonna come to more solutions it's gonna be a more coming together in generation Z but see the new world order they cannot afford that remember that can't afford that all right, because if people get too knowledgeable, well, then guess what? Taxes automatically go down. People stop having to work for a living. They can do whatever they want and get money. And the New World Order don't like that because it doesn't even, it's not even about money. It's about labor. It's about everybody has to work for these mofos uh, and they run the governments. Mm -mm. Not anymore. Not after we share the type of information we got to share. Not after Generation Z, you understand? Because we're rebelling all of the way. We're going all the way hard in the paint. All right. And the New World Order simply can't afford that. So what are they going to do? I don't know what they're going to do. To be honest with you, that's something to think about. What what do they plan to do? Because here's the thing, the New World Order they they schedule these things out. They want to get. They have goals in mind. They they set dates for when they want to accomplish certain uh, global structures being put into place permanently. Uh, they do have goals, and they always be running behind. All right. You might have heard of Agenda 2030. They used to be something else. They, you know, they, they used to be uh, Agenda 2015. They used to be Agenda 2000 at one point, I'm sure. The global elites are running behind. And I don't think they understand that. Or, you know, a lot of them probably do understand that. They're running behind now. Because it keeps taking them longer to put a slave system matrix around us. Meanwhile, Generation Z has already popped out. And they're already doing bad things. You know what I'm saying? They are already making moves. And they can't be stopped. Won't, won't be stopped. This is March the uh, 28th. 2017. I'll holler at y'all. New World Order needs to think about that. They need to think about that long and hard. And I'll holler at y'all.